Hello guys, Lord Cirque here, coming in with another review. This is the f this is one of the first one of my re-reviews. I'm gonna review all my older sets that I <clears throat> that have pretty much started up my that I pretty much based my channel on in the beginning. So, yeah, as you can see here, this is the 2008 Republic gunship, um, also called L A A T I, which means uh, Low Altitude Assault Transport Infantry. Um, this is because it's because it's supposed to be transporting infantry and all that stuff. So, yeah. Um, the set number is 7676. Comes with <coughs> and it comes with five minifigures. So let's just have a quick look at them. The first one's a quite unique minifigure, at least for when he came out the first time. Commander Cody. Wow, having some trouble with the colors there, I see. Um, <clears throat> so, okay, I apologize. These should have been... Uh, his uh, skirt here and his poltron there should have been all uh, should have been all gray like his pistols and his antenna of course I apologize um, but yeah well he's got these little orange markings and overall just a wonderful minifigure to have um, he's very good for an army builder because then you have a commander of course just a regular clone head nothing special about it just overall um, just overall a very cool minifigure. So, then we have a regular clone trooper, which is nothing but, yeah, which is nothing but a regular one from 2008, 9, and 10, possibly 11 as well. Whoops. Okay, anyway, that was supposed to happen. Again, a regular clone face. Nice frontal and back printing. There. So, then, we're, then we've come to Obi-Wan Kenobi. Um, he looks like he looks a little bit like a maniac if you if you notice his face there. Let's just see if we can't get the camera to focus a bit. There we go. As you can see, he looks like a total maniac. Um, his lightsaber hilt is gray. I don't know why really. Why Lego decided to make them gray? Once <clears throat> before these sets, they were all silver, and in the newer part, the newer sets, they're they're chromish. So I don't really know why, but yeah. Otherwise, nice frontal printing, no back printing, no double-sided head, and just all well, kind of, <laughs> don't know what to call this hair, but anyway. Then we've come to Asajj Ventress, uh, which is a very nice minifigure. She was unique when this set first came out, but she isn't anymore. You can get her in Savage's Speeder, which I think is pretty much on, the, on its way out of the market by now. Um, a funny thing to notice about this one is two things. The first is her skirt. I would say I would have expected Lego to make it out of uh, plastic, but in fact they've made made it out of some kind of like something like cotton, which I think is both nice and very uh, very unexpected. Then actually this this one also comes with four lightsaber hills, as in the movie you see her putting their lightsabers together to double blade it and separating them again. So I think that Lego has tried to to copy that by. Uh, by giving you two extra lightsaber hilts so that you can actually glue them together to give her a double bladed lightsaber, which I think is very cool. <clears throat> then we have Jedi Master Plo Koon. Uh, and another funny thing to notice about this guy is his head isn't plastic, it's rubber. Uh, if you can see here, just overall, he uh, it's very soft and it isn't really sticking onto his head very well, so. Whoops, or onto his body very well. Um, excuse me. I'll have to take care of this later, but then you can have a good, uh, you can have a good, great look at his head, and you pretty much know it from the series and from the movie already. But yeah, and then again, you can see here that there. Okay, and then we, then I'll put his head on after this review is, is over. Um. Then he has a nice printed uh, torso, no printed legs, gray lightsaber hilt again, and no back printing. So, yeah. This set comes with two manuals and <clears throat> Clone Wars, uh, Clone Face there, of course, Clone Helmet. Key 102. Um, and again, here, here, here it's confirmed that it's only five minifigures. Sars there, Obi-Wan there. Um, what's it called? Um... Commander Cody on a speeder bike, you'll see that later on, and a clone trooper here. I'd actually prefer to have a clone pilot in there instead, um, 
and then possibly a clone gunner up there. Uh, and then we have Plokun there. So, good. Now let's get on to the gunship itself. We'll just start from the front, uh, from the front and go all the way to the back. So the first thing that you should notice is these ball turrets, which can pretty much turn many degrees. Uh, I won't do it because I'm just as I say I wouldn't do it. I did it, but anyway, this what this is what I was was afraid to, well, that would happen. This set hasn't been touched very long, so some of the pieces might be breaking off easily, except for this one, which always breaks off. Um, that's pretty annoying, but it did so the very first time that I built this set also, and it's always been like that, so I just prefer it like that. Um, there's a nice little space here for the for the pilot or the regular clone trooper to, to to control the gunship at. I would just wish though that down there where those white pieces are that there were some controls down there. Um, there. Then we have the second one here, which oh, this one usually works. There we go. So. <clears throat> Again, I'd wish there were some controls here, but otherwise it's pretty much the same, just a little bit more red. And then there's also a red sticker on the ship. This ship actually comes with a lot of stickers. You can see a Kawaki and Monkey Lizard here. The one on the other side as well. This actually came with two different kind of stickers, a Kawaki and Monkey Lizard or a Blue Twilight Dancer. I'd wish I'd put, I'd wish I'd put one of each on the gunship. That'd make it more unique. In here, as you just saw, there was a compartment where you could take out this thing. There is, this is a frontal base. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty nice. But again, this is confirming another theory of mine. Why didn't Lego actually include more clones into this set? As you already noticed, there are a lot of spaces for clones to be at. So there are two here. There were two up there, and there are more on the ship. And that will get, we'll get to that later on. So why didn't they? It's a good question when they, about this time, always put more droids in their vehicles. And we'll just see, this one is pretty tricky because it usually breaks off pretty easily. And on the other side as well. There we go. Now we can pull out this thing. Whoops. And we have a back to tank to heal the wounded troops, which I think is very convenient. Um, that is a huge improvement, I would say. Um, and yes, a clone can actually fit in there. A clone can really fit in there, and it's pretty. Uh, that's wonderful. Now then, I'm just. Uh, I'll just see if I can find the find the one from the set here. Yep, it's him. We'll just kill this antenna there. Put it down there, and there we go. It fits in there. Now, anyway. Um, <clears throat> We'll just put it back in there with the clone. <laughs> or should we? Yeah. And then this piece broke off, just as I predicted it would sometime. And of course it could open up on the other side as well. Um, now on further on to the ship. It also comes with two drones. I think it's a drone. A little spy droid thing. Drone, I don't really know. Um, I don't really rec recognize these in the movie, so I can't really say anything about that. But it comes with two of them, and they're in that compartment there. So, <clears throat> then this set comes with eight flick-firing missiles, no more, no less. But that is that can be pretty troubling, because you see the flick-firing missiles there, and these this piece, there is one on the other side as well. They are, su they are supposed to be the ones helping you to carry the entire gunship. As you can see now, my hand's in the way for the flick firing missiles, so that's a big setback. Especially because this set is meant to play with. So. <clears throat> then we have these rocket kind of engines, and um, I think it's supposed to be like that the missiles. I think it's supposed to look like that the missiles could be loaded into here, and then it's supposed to be fired out there. Um, <clears throat> of course, it looks great, but that's not the case. It would be awesome. Fortunately, we can't. Then here, on the wing, we have one of these beam lasers. And here there are some controls, strangely enough. Oh, you can really see the dust on this thing. But usually, I've gotten enough, I've got enough clones to fill up this gunship, so usually I put a gunner in here. I think that's 
I think that's most convenient. It's got one of these on the other side as well, which is directly the same, so I don't have to show you that. You can see it there. Or at least not show you that close up. Then we can move up this wing. We could also take it off, but yeah, it will just create a lot of trouble. Then we can open this. I don't know if you saw it. this piece. There, and you might be able to see something in there, something black in there. We'll just take the other piece here as well. Then you can see that white piece here. I'll just move these a little bit, and I can put down that white piece as you can see. Then we can push out the speeder bike. There. So that I'd say is very awesome. Plus that you have some extra weapons in there, which I also think is very cool. Um, although I do know that this set, sh this this actually should have been assembled a little bit differently. I'm sorry about that. Um, it actually should have been turned around. Now some weapons fell out in there. Great. It should have actually been like that. Then you could put in the speeder bike here. Would attach, would attach there, and there we go. <clears throat> so, and we'll close this again. That's pretty much uh, that's pretty much the main feature. And again, I'll just open this up again so you can see it. Again, you can see there are many of these white dots here. There are there are space for a lot of minifigures in there. So why do, did they only include one regular clone? It's, it's a big question and it's been up to debate many times and none of us really get it, only LEGO themselves. I think it's because they're just, uh, should we call it, cheap. Um, but that's another story. Then it has two of these compartments on either side. These are empty though, but I can't remember if the other, one, if the other ones are filled up, but that's another story. So, so yeah. But guys, well, that was pretty much it. Thanks a lot for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye, and please watch some of my other videos. More will be coming soon. So yeah, bye.